so they could not keep me away, and after less than a day, I'm back again. At the fire, with my 23,000 souls, trapped with the bosses that I cannot beat, now I'm all out of humanity. I'm going to try and get the souls back, maybe use a homeward bone, and level up. <gasps> what? I blocked that! I don't know what happened there. I could have sworn. Okay, when we review these videos, oh my god, Ben's holding up tw 23 fingers. He just flashed 10 and then 10 and then 3. Oh my god, I just lost 23,000 souls. That was a whole level and I died because I was sure I blocked it and I didn't block it and he hit me. I'm not going to review the video now, but when Ben reviews it and it goes on YouTube or whatever happens, I swear I blocked. So now what? Oh, that reminds me. When I walked into that room, the black black eye orb activated, and I thought that would mean maybe some dark, scary character would appear that I'd have to fight. That didn't happen. Um, but the black eye orb, I think, is something that I have. Black eye orb. Um, so invade the world, invade world of murderer of a firekeeper. That activated. Oh, alright, let's have a look at this. Black Eye Orb. Mystical Orb found on a Keeper's Corpse. Invade the world of the murderer of a Fire Keeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of the Fire Keeper. The Black Eye keeps constant watch on the City of the Gods and Orlando. So, it keeps constant watch on this city. Apparently it activated for some reason. And now I can invade the world of the murderer? Of the Fire Keeper. Which would have been that really nice lady who never spoke, who is now dead, and now I'm wearing her clothes because I apparently have no respect for the dead. Wait, am I wearing her clothes? No. It's the bloodstained stuff. I think I'm wearing the gauntlets. No, I'm wearing... I'm not wearing her stuff anymore. I don't think. Anyway, can I use the orb to invade the world, or is it an online play item? Hmm... Okay. Well, I'd like to use it to... But I guess it's not an online play item. Well, I don't know. Um, invade the world of a murder of a firekeeper. So it activated. I'm not sure what that means. But if there is a way to find the murderer of that nice lady, and if I could defeat that horrible person, then I would very much like to do that. Um, is it something I can... Can I interact with it at all? I don't think I can. Right, so I'll keep coming back to that and see if there's a way I can interact with that. Hmm... I've used two Estus Flasks just to beat this basic knight. That was awful! I'm going to go back to that bonfire. <laughs> so, let's see if I can beat this guy a bit better than I did the last time. I'll see if I can get to the bosses again. And see if there's any way I can beat them on my own. Oops. Oh! Break this! So, let's see. Game mechanics. I guess I can run and do that. I can kick. I can do that. I can parry. What, what was the parrying again? It was that. I haven't parried for a while. I don't even know if I still can do that. I guess we can try. Get my souls back so nothing matters anymore. Come on, attack me. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? Let's see if I can do that again. Nope. Nope. Didn't work so well. It might stab me in the back. Or not. That's fine too. Oh, 
Hawk stab. I mean, I killed him. Wow, that's effective. Do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, something went wrong. I died. Okay. So, under what circumstances would it work? Let's see. Swing. Nope. Can't parry that. That was a stab. No, that's a stab. That's not going to work. That was a swing. That might have worked. That's a swing as well. Three swings, and I didn't try it. Oh, wasn't quick enough. That's a stab. That's a swing. And I'm dead. Why? What did I do right? And what am I doing wrong? Ow. Aha! So he tried to stab me and I was actually able to parry that. I could parry the stab. So let's see if I can keep this up. Number two. Yes. Oh, that's even more effective than the backstab. Alright, now let's try you. Whoa! Not sure if it'll work on the archer. I don't know if it'll work on the really big guys downstairs. Haha! <laughs> big guys downstairs. <laughs> oh, that's the only thing it does work on. It works on the big guys downstairs. Oh, that's so bad. I don't think I can parry these ones. Tried. Let's try again. Nope. Okay, I'm going to stop trying that. Oh, come on. It's going to take forever. And in fact... I don't even need to deal with you. What am I even doing? See you later, sucker. I don't think I can parry these guys, maybe, but maybe there's something I can do. Let's try running a lot. Uh oh. Ouch. Alright, so that didn't work. Shit! I can't heal faster than they're attacking me! Whoops. Whoops. Whew. One down. I am loving this. Whoops. Loving it less. Loving it so much less. And I'm dead. Damn it. Fine. Nice break. Traverse the white light. So I'm just going to stand here.
Okay, doing better. Oops. Okay, where's the other guy? He's there. Okay. I don't like these guys. Ouch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn it. But, still alive. Kind of. Kind of still alive. Still alive, somehow. Uh oh. Damn it! Okay, I got a third of his life down just by targeting on that guy and just moving around constantly. Still alive somehow, and I'm dead. What to do? Well, I guess there's some benefit to the whole back off strategy. But is it enough, and especially without Soler? I'm not sure if I'm up for the challenge. There are some other areas in Anor Londo that I haven't explored. I'm just looking at the map and seeing what I could possibly find. Uh, I suppose we could try and find something else. That would mean going back through a whole bunch of monsters, but it's something I'm going to do anyway and it might be a little bit easier, right? Maybe? So in order to do that, what's the best way to do that, I suppose? Um, back out to the gate. So. I know a way to do that. Let's do that way. But let's try our cock punch. Nope. Nope. Yes. So do it a little bit earlier. Oh, bit late. Bit early. Perfect. Oh gosh. Yes. I'm going to pop down here. Oh. Can I parry these monsters? I don't seem to be able to. I remember when I first started out playing this game, I was very nervous and very scared about my ability to play, all sorts of things. I felt very insecure about the whole process. And I still feel like I'm not terribly good, but I feel a lot more confident in my, I suppose, game assessing capabilities. Uh oh. So now I'm at the bottom of the fortress, which is lousy with the painter guards. So many. So many, and none of them are attacking me. Oh, except for that one. Oi! Bit rude. Who's next? Oi! Who's next? Hmm. 
You're next. Alright, who else? Huh? Who else? You! Gonna come closer? Uh-oh. That's a few more down. Who's next? Hmm. Now I'm going to go around the other side. Hmm. There is a vase. There is no longer a vase. Who's next? I assume they won't drop from the ceiling ceiling. Jeez. Oh, that was scary. I didn't even see the arrow coming. It was just... Whew. Okay. Alright, so I'll deal with you. Or not. And there should be just two more. I'm sure there's more hidden. Let's see. Two. Nope. Ah, that's a big painting. I can see why that might be precious. One more guy over here. Let's deal with him. All right. So as far as I can tell, that's it for now. Let's kick that. Yeah. So, treasure. Black iron everything. A great sword. And a black iron great shield. I'll look at those in a moment. So let's keep exploring. There's a giant painting that they were protecting. <gasps> I can examine it! It does not move. Wow, oh, I didn't realise it would be a thing that would move. I wonder how it might. Hmm... In the meantime, it's a throwing knife and sorcery, great magic weapon. Hmm. I want that to move. How might such a thing move? 
Well, I guess the first thing we should do is have a look at the things we picked up. We picked up a great magic weapon. Um, so, sorcery which improves upon a magic weapon, high magic augmentation, right weapon. At Venheim Dragon School, only magic swordsmen on special orders are allowed to learn this spell which grants powerful augmentation to various weapons. Great Shield of the Mighty Knight Tarkus, built of special black iron and even heavier than Knight Burnike's Tower Shield, especially resistant to fire attacks and effective for shield bashing. One of the gigantic straight great swords. Very few have it what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy damage dealing monster, a favour of the Knight's Baronite, known, known for the heavy armour and black iron Tarkus. So these are all... They all have the same description. Um, armour of the black iron Tarkus, a knight known for his great strength. Built of a special black iron and providing great defence. Notably against fire, but so terribly heavy to be unwieldy to all but Tarkus himself. Now... Ha! This painting doesn't move. Can you get it to move? And if you can, how would you do this? Does not move, and hitting it and kicking it does nothing. Can't see much of anything behind it. Ooh, I've picked up some humanity at some point. When did that happen? Try and tackle those bosses again. Is it possible? Can I make it? Let's be honest, <laughs> probably not. Was there a quicker way in? I guess I have to go past all this again. Up to this bit again, which means those guys are going to shoot arrows at me. Excellent. So... Hmm. Alright, let's do it. Let's try and face the bosses. So let's put something into endurance. So now I can summon... And let's have a good look at our equipment. I don't need to absorb HP from the bosses. So I'm going to replace that with the Ring of Steel Protection. So now, let's try our very best to get to the sign alive. Ooh! I did it without targeting. If I were to summon him and just run straight through, would he just join me? I hope so. So, Soler, hope you're here. Soler, <laughs> Soler, Soler. Holy shit, where is he? Oh my god, those guys are trying to come through. Uh oh, uh oh. Where is Solaire? Oh, crud. I don't know how to get out of this. Like, I can drink Estus Flask, and that about, that's about all I can do. Shit. I don't even want to speak to you anymore, Solaire. Where were you? Look at those feet. They are hollow feet, and I feel hollow inside. But first I'll deal with the archer. And I also want to look into that black eye orb thing again like I did at the beginning of this night. I couldn't use it before, but it activated in this room. So I'm wondering if it's something I can use in this room. I don't know, but 
my current thoughts are that the black eye orb is related to or connected to the murderers of that dear old lady. And I think those bosses killed that dear old lady. So I'm guessing I can either use the black eye orb in this room or the next room over, maybe even as a weapon against the bosses. What would I know? All right, there's, huh. Okay, there's a crank. There's a crank. There's a crank. Neat. Should I explore that now or should I wait? Hmm. I guess I'll explore it now. There is a crank. But I guess first, let's have a look at the black eye orb again. Can I use it now? I can use it now. Scary. Right, one thing at a time. Let's see what this does. I guess from this direction it does very little. On this side, it does do something. I guess it opens the door. It opens the door. Where does it lead? Ah. Ah, a bit of a shortcut. That's good to know. Hmm. That saves a lot of trouble, at least. As for the other thing, the black eye orb is usable in this room. What does that mean? Well, let's give it a try, I guess. So, Black Eye Orb, invade the world of the murderer of a firekeeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul. So if I use it now, I've got six Estus flasks and I try and kill the murderer. Alright, we have one episode left before I go home for the night. Let's try and use the item. Yes. Searching for the world of the guilty, invading world of the uh, of the guilty as a spirit of vengeance. Hmm. So I suppose in an on pl online play situation, this would be some sort of interactive thing. Knight Lortrek the guilty. What have we got? Just two enemies. Three. One, two, three. Don't want to deal with three at once, really. Let's get some range and see what we're dealing with. Can I get their attention? Guess I have to go down to meet them. I'm a lot less scared of this game than I used to be. I used to be absolutely terrified of approaching things and now I'm a bit more diplomatic. So what's going on? I can target. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh great, they're all chasing after me. Okay. Gotta sit back, gotta sit back. I can't use Estus flasks? I'm gonna die! How can I do this if I can't use an Estus flask? Huh. Do I still have the eye? Okay, so it's like a side quest thing. And I still have my souls. Let's see what happens if I just enter the room and don't kill anything else. And just try to use the orb from the room. So I'm inside. I'll drink a flask. And let's try and use the orb again.
So let's give this another shot. So I'm back here again. I suppose let's try exploring first. There's a white light that I cannot invade. Now the worst one for me is the magician. All the doors are closed off. So the Magician is the worst, because my defences against him are quite bad. So where is he? Oh, he's on the far side. Okay, so lots of moving. I still can't heal, that's right. I'm aiming for the sorcerer first and foremost because he's a jerk. Oh god, he's right in the middle. Stop protecting him. Crud, 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 crud. But I think maybe one more turn might do the trick. Fingers crossed. I got him down to low health, but he was being protected by the other people. And I'm weak against sorcery. Alternatively, I could be a bit of a dick <laughs> and change my equipment to super heavy stuff and see how that goes. Magic defense. It's better than what I had. So, let's try and battle them using this. Nope, too early. And I'm dead. Alright, let's try this again. Now, shield up and aim for the sorcerer. Because he can hurt me the most. not with more defense and I can't oh my defense is terrible that was awful yeah there's a very fast one. Oh shit oh shit again god damn it nope dead. Well, I really hope I get those souls back. I think we're going to look at dexterity. Oh boy! How? What even happened? Oh shit. Oh 
quit it already. Oh my god. Ah, oh, let's get some vitality. I am not surviving anymore. Alright, thank you very much for joining me on this incredibly humiliating journey. There are no waving gestures for you this evening. I do not feel like waving. What is the appropriate? That is appropriate. So long, my dear friends and companions who have watched me on my journey through misery today. I will see you whenever I feel like tackling all of these dudes again. Bye for now.